came back. So I decided to try something new today. It was hot. Um, decided to come in the hot tub. Um, it's actually my mini pool right now because it's not heated. Uh, and I noticed today. <laughs> not good. This is not pretty right now. Mm. Um, I'm going to do something about that. Buzz it. I'll just buzz my head and I'll buzz my face all at the same time. Um, oh, I do have something to talk about. Um, I, it was today. Today I saw a video on YouTube about an F dad that thought, or thinks his parents don't love him. Um, and you guys need to understand that your parents are going through a transition too, just like you are. Um, if you had a kid that happened to be born a girl and changed into a boy, you might have some issues dealing with that. And you got to understand it's hard for them too, just like it's hard for you. Um, we need to be stronger though, because we're the ones going, technically going through more, but they're, they're not losing a child. My mom described it as kind of losing a daughter and gaining a son all at once. Um, she knows I haven't changed, and she's actually described me as the same person I was before, just cut my hair and changed my name. Um, look a little more mannish now. Um, but your parents are always going to love you. They're just going through a rough time. Actually, um, in the video, the kid was writing on cards, and, and it, it said that his mom called him a stupid fuck after he tried to commit suicide. Well, I got a story to tell you. I was probably 19 years old. I was going out of my head. That was about, like, right when I was starting to come out. I didn't know what to do. I had no, like, hopes of transitioning and blah, blah, blah. I was totally insane. So I took a bunch of pills, and my mom had to take me to the hospital. And she called me a stupid fuck. But now I realize she had a right to call me a stupid fuck. Because that was a stupid fuck move. I shouldn't have done that. Um, my parents would fight and argue with me all the time about me transitioning, and I thought they, they didn't love me and didn't care for me and didn't understand. No, it's not. They do care for you. They just don't know how to express it right now. They're expressing it through their fears for you. So their fears for you, so their fears for your future, turn into arguing and yelling and screaming and calling you names and blah, 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 because they're just concerned about what's going to happen to you later. I realized that about five years after I started transitioning, I guess. So, about five years ago, I figured that out. Um, my mom, it took her about two years before she started calling me him and Nick and all my nice pronouns and stuff. Um, actually, we were at the grocery store, and she screamed Michelle from a couple aisles away, and it was like right down the middle, like you know where the um, where you check out. So I was down that aisle, and everybody like looked down the aisle, and I was the only one standing there. And they looked back at my mom like she was fucking nuts. Um, so she realized that she needed to call me him, he, and Nick right away, because she was crazy. Um, I guess that's good for me. Kind of embarrassing for her. Uh, my father took about three, four, five years. I don't remember. He finally, um, he finally accepted me uh, before he passed away. That was about two years ago, um, and I had no problem calling me his son or Nick or he. Um, and another thing I was gonna say is that uh, I know people do the it gets better videos. You know what? It does get better after a lot of time and a lot of work and a lot of pain, and I still have pain to this day. Like, I don't know how to deal with some of the stuff I'm going through now, but you learn to deal with stuff. You learn to deal with your feelings, and you learn to deal with this, and you learn to deal with that, and it makes you a better, stronger, more compassionate person, actually. You become such a better person, it's not even funny. I was such an asshole when I was younger. I don't even know how I had friends when I was younger. I was a total asshole. And now I realize that I can't be like that. Number one, I guess I was like that because I was very angry and upset and pissed off and hated the world and blah, blah, blah. But um, after I started transitioning, I realized, hey, I'm acting like an asshole. I can't do that. It's because I started to learn how to deal with my pain. And you're going to always have pain in your life. And I think everybody always has pain in their life. We just have a little bit more intense pain about who we are compared to other people. Um, but you're going to learn to deal with it. I love therapy. Actually, video blogging is great, I feel. I get a little bit of therapy 
when I do a video vlog. Um, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna pay you guys <laughs> to watch my videos. Um, but all in all, you become a stronger person, a better person. You start learning to deal with your pain. But in the beginning, it's really, really hard. It's very, very hard. But just hang in there and do the best you can and get help when you need help. There's nothing wrong with saying that you need help. So if you need help dealing with your stuff, seek out help. No matter if it's contacting somebody on YouTube or Facebook or whatever, to talk to them about it, do that. Um, so I'm going to go deal with um, my face issue right now because it's kind of bugging me. Um, and I might make another video later today. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe clarification or whatever. I don't know. I don't know if that all came out right. I have to watch it before I send it off to YouTube. Um, but that's about what I wanted to say. So you guys take care. Have fun.